Hello, everyone. Heartland Season 16, Episode 13, called Striking a Balance, aired on CBC on Sunday night. The episode revolved around four different storylines that all connected at the end. So, it was a pretty busy episode with all characters dealing with various issues in different locations. Let's recap what happened in episode 13 of Heartland season 16 and discuss our theories about the remaining two episodes. First of all, after everything that happened about Finn in the previous episodes, we didn't think the writers would be this quick to introduce a new love interest in Amy's life. But they did. When Lisa called Amy to her stables to show her Platinum Bow's health issues, Amy parked her car right out front of the stables. And a man who turned out to be Edwin Silvera, the stable manager, said that Amy couldn't park there because the parking spot was for Lisa. Then Lisa came and saved the situation by saying that Amy was family and it was okay for her to park there. So these two had a rough first meeting. Later in the episode, Amy and Edwin continued to have arguments, but this time about Platinum Bow's future and Amy's way of working with him. Later, Amy, as she always does, managed to find the problem with Platinum Bow and offered a solution to Lisa, which she accepted. Lisa got rid of all the investors that wanted Platinum Bow to be sold and decided to spend more time with him because Amy had realized that the horse was limping only when Lisa was around. After the problem was solved, the episode had a surprising ending with Amy and Edwin. At the beginning of the episode, Lindy was talking about her friend from school, a girl named Rebecca, how she wanted her and her mother to come over to their house. Amy accepted it to make Lindy happy, but when Rebecca came to their home, she was with Edwin. It turns out Rebecca was Edwin and another woman's daughter. Normally, her mother was going to come, but she couldn't do to a work thing. So Edwin came. When he and Amy were having a conversation, Edwin said that he and Rebecca's mother were divorced, but kept their relationship civil for their daughter. We also learned that Edwin used to be a jumper and was very successful, but he had to stop for an unknown reason. Honestly, Amy and Edwin had a shaky first meeting, but when they were at Amy's house, they started to have a conversation and realized they were both good people. And the detail about Edwin being a divorced father is important. We truly believe he could be the next love interest of Amy. Perhaps we'll see him in the following episodes or the next season. As for other characters, a new development appeared in Tim and Shane's relationship. The two met in Ken and Askey's to play squash, a game Tim had no idea about but was eager to play because it meant spending time with Shane. But Shane had to cancel it because of work. They later had coffee and Shane told Tim he was getting married. But he didn't invite Tim, saying it would be a small ceremony with only close family. Tim was hurt but didn't show it to Shane. Later, Shane saw Jessica in the hotel where they were staying. Jessica told him Tim was willing to play squash even though he didn't know how to. Shane understood how hard Tim had been trying to reconnect with him, so he went to his room and apologized. He said that he didn't invite his father because his mother and stepfather were going to be there as well. Shane thought it would be uncomfortable for Tim but realized it should be Tim's decision. So he invited him to the wedding and Tim said yes. We don't think the wedding will be this season, but we're delighted that Tim and Shane's relationship is moving forward. Tim has been doing great and it is nice to see that it's working between them. For Lou and Katie, it was a problematic episode. Katie and Parker started a strike because they were understaffed at Maggie's. They did it to force Lou to find new staff members for the cafe. But it only made Lou angry and she called Rick to help her run the cafe. But Carl called Rick to tell him they had to bring their new baby home, so Lou closed the place to take them to the airport. When Katie learned about this, she started to feel wrong about the strike. Also, Lo was called to an interview at a radio station, and the interviewer asked her how she managed to be a mother, a mayor, and a business owner simultaneously. Lou became emotional and talked about how it was all a facade, how she struggled with doing all of them perfectly, and how she was continuing nonetheless. Katie listened to the interview and realized that her mother was doing her best. She apologized to Lou and the two made up. It was finally relieving to see the end of a season-long dispute. The last storyline of the episode was about Jack and his return to country music. Caleb was a bit depressed during the episode because of his divorce and its effects on him. So Jack offered to take him to a local bar where a band played music. The father of one of the band members used to be in Jack's wife, Lindy's band. They invited Jack to the stage to play a song with them, but he refused. But later, to celebrate Platinum Bow's recovery, the whole family went to the same bar. This time, Jack, Amy, and Katie went on the stage and sang the song that Katie had written in the previous episode. It was a beautiful duet, and the whole family had fun. The episode ended with the song, which was a magical moment. 
We loved this episode, and we hope you felt the same way. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you soon.